Hey guys, Shimmer here with a quick guide on how to cue yourself for the world quests associated with Kazumoth the Hungering to kill him and receive the Fathom Dweller mount or the Hungering Claw Pet. If you kill him before you're keyed for the world quests, you won't get any loot off of him. Uh, you have to do this series of orb clicking in order to uh, open up the world quests that will allow you to get um, the claw pet or the uh, legendary world quest for the mount. The first thing you'll need to do is find Drakthul at the coordinates 5173 in the Broken Shore. Uh, you can reach this by jumping off Crassus Landing uh, in Dalaran and swimming there for the first time and getting the flight point. That'll make it easier for the rest of the, uh, of the trip here. So you'll talk to him, go through all his conversation options until he has nothing else to say to you and tells you to go away. Our next stop on our journey is a musty cave located at the coordinates 5853 on the broken shores as well. You'll just make your way from Drakthul up the coast and before you spoke to him there was a rock in front of this cave entrance which has now mysteriously disappeared and you're able to enter it. My group members were unable to enter it. Uh, there, the rock was still there. They had to log out and back in in order to get into the cave so if you run into that issue just log out and back in. At the back of the cave, there is a very tiny clicky. You'll click it, pick it up, and you will receive a weathered relic. And we're gonna take this sucker back to Drakthul because he seems to be interested in it. Once you pick up the weathered relic from the musty cave, head back to Drakthul at 5173 and tell him about it. And once you go through all the com conversation options until he again tells you to go away. And uh, once you do that you'll be able to click the orbs in the world and you have to click them in a specific order and I'm going to show you which order to do that in. Our next stop is in Azura at the coordinates 37.9, 37.44 which is the entrance to the cave. The closest flight point is Illidari Stand. You'll run down this road and find this tree. There is a bush by this uh, large tree that you can walk through into the cave entrance. The next orb is located in Stormheim at the coordinates 32.7, 75.5. You'll fly to Lorna's Watch and take the road south towards Suramar, and uh, the cave entrance will be up a path to the right side of the road. This orb is being guarded by a level 111 elite mob named Kangax, who should be avoided at all costs because she will one-shot you. Um, if you have stealth, stealth past her, um, or if you're in a group, have someone be a diversion and pull her out, uh, or you will die. Uh, so make your way by her and get the orb as quickly as possible. The next stop is in Valshara at the coordinates 41.52 by 42.81, that's the cave entrance. The closest flight point is Lothraville, and uh, you'll just push through this bush here. Uh, this one is also being guarded by an elite, which you can kill. Uh, just make sure you interrupt his, um, his spells, and once you kill him, just click the orb. The 
The next orb is in the Broken Shores in the ocean. Uh, you want to make your way to the coordinates 3173 and follow the path I take to find the uh, entrance to the cave. It helps if you have an underwater breathing potion uh, so that you don't drown. Um, and if you're not fast or have a fast swimming mount, you might want to have some uh, health potions on hand for fatigue in some of these. Uh, but just swim along until you find this opening in the wall. The next orb is back in Azuna. Uh, you'll make your way to the coordinates 5913. Um, the closest flight point is Felblaze Ingress, and you'll just find this patch of crystals on your right and walk through the hole there. It's very well hidden. Our next stop is in a little island off the shore of Stormheim called Shields Rest. Uh, if you go to the northeast corner of it, you can see some ruins off in the distance. Swim out to it and you'll find this toothless great white shark which will help you find your bearings and direct you directly underneath it. There is a cave entrance uh, that is very tiny and very hard to see. So you just swim down here and enter the cave. The next stop is High Mountain at the coordinates 56-39. The closest fly point is Skyhorn, and you'll just follow this path up the side. Once you reach here, you're going to start. When it, you're going to want to start jumping down to the cave entrance. Uh, be careful not to fall all the way off. Uh, there is going to be a big, obvious cave, but that's not the cave we're looking for. We're looking for this bush to the right, which we are going to push through into the hidden cave that has our orb. The next orb is in Azuna at the coordinates 5326. The closest fight point will be Azure Wing Repose, and it's next to this uh, big tree here. And the last orb you'll have to find is in the Great Sea at the coordinates 50, 90. Uh, you'll swim out there and uh, there is going to be a ship underneath you that you will swim inside of. Um, it is off the co coast of the Eye of Ashara, so if you don't have that flight point, uh, do not under any circumstances jump off of Dalaran because you will not make it if you try to swim from there. Um, go back to your friend Drakthul on the Broken Isles and, or the Broken Shore and swim from his location you should make it from there.
The last step to complete is to go back to your buddy Drag Tool at 5173 and click the orb that is on his table there. Uh, he still doesn't want to talk to you, uh, and unfortunately there's nothing to let you know that you've completed this, no achievement or anything like that, but a way to check is to open your world map and see if you have unlocked the world quest. Uh, they refresh once a week, uh, you'll either get the pet or you have the chance of getting the rare legendary world quest that will give you the mount. And that's it, thanks for watching, don't forget to like and sub for more content.